Yeah. She passed away on the deck and oh, yeah. away. Okay. Well, that's okay. She was she was good to go. She was 87. <laughs> then she died sitting in her porch swing that she, that she really loved. My mother, Mickey, died in the back bedroom, which I'll show you. I got to watch her take her last breath and hold her hand when she did. Oh, that's nice. Ralph died right there, half in and half out of that room, in a hospital bed in 2011. My mother in 2007, and my grandmother in the 80s, I think 87. And that's my daughter and granddaughter. They're in Washington State, and that's where I'm going. This place wow. is going. Bye-bye. I'm going to take a big fat check, <laughs> and I'm going to move up to Washington. Sounds fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Things really started to really get wild about uh, February of this year. February 3rd, as a matter of fact. I'm standing in my kitchen. Excuse me, oh, I'm standing in my kitchen. I'm making macaroni and cheese. Okay. So things are just like they are now. All of a sudden, this bright light comes in both sides here and this window. And I'm going, what the hell? Somebody must be coming down the hill here with a truck and it's going to run right into my house. Bright light. And I went like this and right there through the trees I see bright light. So I walk over here going, oh my god, am I going to get hit by a truck? Because there's neighbors up here and they have a driveway. And I thought maybe a truck was coming down. And I look and I see through the trees this very, very bright light and it's opening. And I get my binoculars. My binoculars were sitting on the counter right there. And I looked and I bl was blinded because it was really starting to weigh open. Portal, I guess, or ship, I don't know. Gold inside of it. Bright white light, gold. I went, oh crap. My phone was charging over on that table, so I went to get it. And when I came back, I saw the door close before I could get my camera. And then there was a ship. Round. The usual, you know, the probably 10 feet or so, and I stupidly took my phone and ran outside. Oh, what the heck is this? <laughs> and so I filmed it in the sky, and then my battery drained. It's hard to see through the trees, and, and you can see the trees in front of it, but it's weird because it has to be interdimensional. It couldn't have been... Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Okay, that is the reason I that know. you have to be careful because I am in the middle of taking everything out of the basement, out of the whole house, and trying to sell it. I've cleaned, had to clean that trailer. My father drove it 200 miles away, came back and died and left it there. And I had no one to bring the trailer back, so I'm going to move that over here. Anyway, so I ran out here with my phone, and I, and then the battery drained. So I went, oh shit, and I ran back inside and I plugged it back in, and I didn't want to look. There was some missing time. Then when it charged enough, and I, I actually I took the charger and I plugged it in right here above the desk, and I went to this window, right here, and I stood. And when you, when you turn off the lights, and there's only that light out there, and the corner one, and then I shot, 